Welcome back for another video guys. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. I think we're gonna pass 2,700 subscribers today, so 300 more to go and we will give out some silver. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you haven't already, go watch yesterday's video. I pulled a coin prank on my mom. It was hilarious. Now these are 1982 pennies produced in both copper and zinc. Don't forget tomorrow, we're gonna do a live stream coin roll hunt. Alright guys, today's shout out goes to Miles Hickerson Vlogs. He says, oh my gosh, that is so funny. That was a comment on yesterday's video where I pranked my mom. Go check that out if you haven't done so. So Miles, thank you for your support. Thank you for commenting on my video. Of course, if you guys want a shout out in a future video, all you gotta do is comment and subscribe. That will get around to you and you will get a shout out. First, I'm gonna talk about the 1982 Penny Varieties. How many were produced? What type of metal they were produced in? Because there's some confusion on the copper versus is zinc and then we'll get into some of the prices of what some of these coins actually sold for. So in 1982 the United States transitioned its cents from bronze to brass plated zinc and modified the bust lettering and dates. These changes resulted in seven different varieties being issued for circulation in 1982. Okay so here's a list of the coins that were produced in 1982. As you can see large bronze date, small bronze date, Denver mint, large date, bronze, large date brass plated zinc and so on you can read through there screenshot them so you know which pennies they produced in 1982 so if we take a picture of this this will help explain the small date versus large date as you can see the arrows pointing on the top left there to the small date and then you look over to the right on the large date you'll be able to see quite a big difference in the way that those numbers look on those coins and even with the uh, the lettering on Liberty and we you can see how much larger and bold it is on the right side for the large date as opposed to the small date here is a 1982 small date zinc penny just to kind of show you guys some stuff and then here is a 1982 large date copper just to kind of show you guys the difference now these sometimes do get difficult to spot so just save all your 1982 pennies and when you have extra time and you really have nothing to do, go throw them and search for them. See these next couple of pictures are examples of copper and zinc pennies in 1982 and as we go through the pennies here, we will see, if we go through that list, we will see that there is a small date for every penny released in 1982 except for the 1982D struck in bronze. However, they have been discovered. So if we take a look at this 1982 small date which sold for $600, just a little over $600, I think it was around $613. And then if we move on to the next photo, the 1982 zinc large date, MS68, that's a very high grade, almost as about as good as you can get, grade scale goes from 1 to 70, so 68, and it's got an RD which means it's red, that sold for over $350. So another thing I just want to remind you guys on is to save your copper pennies. If we take a look at this picture from coinflation.com, you will notice that $1 in copper pennies is actually worth $1.76 in copper melt value. So almost doubling your money there guys, that's a very smart investment. It's just like if people would have started saving silver coins back in the day, now they would have a lot more money. So always save your copper pennies. All right guys, so NGC is certified the only known example of the 1982D small date cent struck in bronze. This unique coin was discovered in November by a collector and he decided to get it examined and submitted it to NGC for certification. So they confirmed with the coin's weight of being 3.08 grams that it was well within the mint's tolerance for bronze coins. The coin was graded in AU58 which is, isn't that great, but hey, it's the only one known to exist, so it's gotta be valuable. So what they're calling it is the Discovery Coin. This is just one of a kind. I mean, it's untelling what it could be worth. It all depends on the market, what these collectors are willing to pay for one coin out there. So it just goes to show you that it really does pay off to search through your pocket change, go to these banks, get these bank rolls. See all these dimes I got? I got a hundred dollars in dimes right here and just to give you guys a little sneak peek i opened up three rolls of the hundred dollars in dimes so far and i found well this is a silver dime my mom actually found that in her change we might give that away in a giveaway out of three rolls i searched i found one canadian 1968 now they did make 68 canadian silver but this one's not and uh just to show you guys this one it doesn't have the edges the rippled edges 
Now, I don't know if that's a laundry coin or not. It looks like it was really made like that. So, I don't know. I'll have to get that checked out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you guys are new to my channel, you like coins, enjoy coin collecting, money, coin roll hunting, all that good stuff, that's what I do here on this channel. And I try to put out a video every single day. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe, guys. It will literally send the notification right to your phone, your tablet, your computer, and let you know that I've just uploaded a coin video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I appreciate you guys coming back every day until tomorrow i will see you guys in the comment section below this is couch coins and this is where i disappear